it out to a camping spot. I've only seen photos of it, but uh, it's on a private property, I'm taking all my stuff, my kayak. And this is literally last minute kind of thing. No planning really whatsoever, except just booking it, but that's it. And I'm headed out there now. It's been a busy day, so let's go. It's getting dark. I think when I get there, I'm gonna be really, really tired, so. These roads are terrible. <laughs> This is literally in the middle of nowhere and I'm almost there about three minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna get there and then I'm gonna set up and uh yeah. <laughs> Good morning everybody, this is my first a uh, night sleeping in the uh, Jeep. <laughs> Did I just say Jeep? No, I meant Subaru. So, yeah. And it is Saturday. Yeah. So, I spent the night here uh, yesterday, last night. I drove. I was. I went to work. And then, we're just doing a bunch of stuff. And I got here around maybe 6.30 p.m. And it was already pretty dark. Because we are in December now. So, the light doesn't stay for very long. I'm out here camping for the first time in the Subaru. I've got a Subaru Forester XT Turbo. It's a 2009 and it's pretty awesome. Um, had some issues with it earlier on when I bought it, but now it uh, seems to be running better. <laughs> All right, I'm all showered up and uh, dressed. It's a little warmer, but uh, yeah, let me show you guys the setup that I have in the Subi. All right, this is basically it. Very simple. I mean, nothing to it really. I've got a Thermarest uh, sleeping pad and a awesome sleeping bag. It's rated here. And uh, they are not cheap, but you know what? If you're going to go out in the cold, you better spend some good money on a quality sleeping bag because it's definitely worth it. And I've got my laptop there and my charger, but it's pretty dope, pretty easy setup. Although this vehicle does have um, 12 volt ports, the car, uh, the key has to be in the ignition for it to actually work. And then here's my lantern. Although I do have interior lights, I still use those just to give that camping experience and then my fan in case it gets humid because if it gets humid inside it's not good so i do have the windows rolled down just a little bit or the sunroof open when i have this uh, propane okay it's a mr buddy portable heater and it does have an emergency oxygen sensor shut off switch so it shuts off when when it reads low oxygen levels the host here at the property just called me and told me that there are some arrowheads I can find along the riverbed, so or along the riverside. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Let's see if we can find some guys. It's windy, yeah, it's windy, but it's and it's cold. <laughs> but so Jerry, the owner of the property, said there that I may be able to find some arrowheads along the river. So let's see if we can find some. Yeah. Now, I was planning on kayaking through here, but I think it's too cold. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I like the cold, but... So this is the first day of coldness here in Texas. But look how beautiful this area is. Like, wow. And Jerry said that there are some bald eagles out here, too. That would be super cool. And I think I see one. No way. Y'all see it? Yeah, it is an eagle. Wow. That is so cool. My bad, that's not an eagle. That was a uh, stork. No, not a stork. Uh, one of those, um, you know, herons or something. All right, we're searching for arrowheads. If y'all see some, let me know. Small town right here. I saw this old bridge. It's pretty awesome. 
It says that it was completed in 1910 uh, between Oklahoma and Texas. So it was a railroad built to withstand floods like the one that happened in the 1900s. And then um, I think it was during the coal mine era where workers were transporting coal from one state to another. And uh, yeah, so if you go over this way, which is east, that uh, gets you into Oklahoma, literally just across the bridge. And right here where I'm at here is um, Texas. So Grayson, I guess, uh, Grayson, Texas. But uh, yeah, let's check this bridge out. Looks like it has good burgers. I'm gonna pawn shop. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Woo! Let's go. All right, well, I think I'm gonna head back to the uh, campsite. Sun's going down, as you can tell. And uh, yeah, I just locked the gate. And now I'm going to go ahead and settle in. The plan is to go down to Red River and get the kayak down. And uh, yeah, although I'm missing the foot pedal part of the kayak, I'm still going to try it. Uh, I'm going to attempt to use it that way, which I'm sure it'll be fine. This is a foldable kayak by this brand here, and it's only 18 pounds. Unfold super easy. Boom. And these go underneath. When these come together, it'll snap in. And there you have it. It's all complete. Again, it only weighs 18 pounds. Literally, look. Two and three. It's complete. Let's go head out. In case you're wondering, I did forget my uh, life jacket, but the water here is really not deep at all. I can like check this out. See, it's literally probably like eight inches or seven inches deep. So turn around, Put ourselves up here. This is so cool. So I decided to get out. I decided to get out here this weekend because I work a lot, you know, and it's a good time for me to clear my head and stuff. If I don't have nature, I don't know what else to do. And um, yeah, I want to be constructive, not destructive. So. I'm going to take this off. Here, just the top layer part, which is the sleeping bag. I'm gonna put this to the side, boom, and then see it's got this thermal rest, but this thermal rest isn't really that great, in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure people might like it, but I'm a side sleeper, so it's gonna make a huge difference. So I bought this from Walmart, it's a Coleman thing, I guess. And that's pretty much it to set up. I'm gonna close this up so I can keep some of the warmth inside. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks for joining me, you guys. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah, so I'm just waking up. Uh, waking up with the sun. The sun is also waking up. So yeah, it's cause we're a part of the universe, right? This experience in the Subaru has been pretty awesome. Although, you know, I 
Didn't sleep very well just for those two nights. I do need something softer. I'm a side sleeper. I think that that poses an issue because when I sleep on my sides, I just feel like my body just pressing against the floor um, harder than usual. So I need to find a, a better mattress. Maybe I'll try an air mattress. So, But anyway, he still had a great time. And it's about 42 degrees right now. So yeah. I'm going to get up and uh, take a shower and then um, just pack up and head out. So I want to thank all y'all for joining me on this awesome trip to Oklahoma and Texas, actually, because it, they're right in between one another. So, yeah. In the meantime, thanks for joining me again. And I really appreciate y'all. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when a video of mine comes out, hit the notification button. And in the meantime, get yourselves out there as well and uh, have a good time and explore nature. Explore what your area has to offer and just go a little above and beyond your areas as well because there's always some hidden gems out there. Thank you for watching and as always, roam with Jeep. Oh,